All right, everybody, so I didn't plan on picking this shoe up, but the right colorway came out, and I had to do it, and the price was just perfect. So the sneaker we're talking about today, guys, is going to be the Jordan Airship PE in Tech Gray. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? It's Mike from the Sneaker History Podcast and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. If you hadn't done so already, you know the drill. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like, hit the notification bell so you know when videos like this drop. Now all that guys gets this video through the algorithms and helps us get to that next step. 5,000 subscribers. Right, hit the 3,000 mark thanks to you all. Next step is five. I'm going to try and do it before the end of the year. So we have about five or four and a half months to get there and I think we can do it with all you guys who have been supporting the channel, which I really do appreciate every last one of you. Now you saw the intro already. You know we're working with we're looking at the jordan airship pe in the tech gray color now I'll be honest with you the airship how can i say this because not every sneakerhead has to like the same thing right so we've already established that i was never a big bring the airship back i didn't didn't care so much but i'm always okay with a good looking shoe but the first few colors to me that were very rare couldn't get your hands on those packs and then everything after that was just kind of blah to me and the leather quality on the other airships that came out like the yellow, the orange, the green, they weren't anything to write home about. They were very coated, very, it seemed like stiff leather, but then something happened. A pair of shoes that I will never get because they're friends and family pair came out and made me, you know, made me open my eyes to the shoe because it was something different. And Nigel Sylvester had the friends and family airship PE, had the very nice leather, aged leather, looks like it had the diffused blue or faded blue suede around it vintage color white on it whatever it may be but it was such a good looking shoe had the mini swoosh on it made me take a step back and look at this sneaker again and from there you had the every game pack that played on that same kind of friends and family colorway with one pair and then you also had the red and beige suede or red and off-white suede that both looked really good but i really didn't like the every game written on the back that's just my preference i think the shoe looks good overall but that one little piece i didn't like so much but then this pair dropped the tech gray pair and it was pretty much anything I was looking for in a sneaker. And guys, it has the Nike Air in the back. We're gonna get to the shoe, but it had the better leather quality than the other Airship drops. Now, maybe it's me. Maybe I just picked up a bad pair, but you guys let me know. If you have both the Tech Gray and the other colors, is there a different leather quality? Because from what I saw, those other ones, I guess more, like, they're all general releases to a degree, I guess, but those just seem to have a, a worse quality leather. Again, maybe it's just my opinion, but you guys let me know, of course. But this one really, you know, I was really intrigued by it. I love the neutral colors and go with a lot. And that suede, you're looking at this suede here, guys. It is a nice suede. And we're going to again get into the shoe in a minute. But not only did that happen, but the price just tumbled. I think it's a normal $140 if it isn't on a shoe. I don't even see it on there. But I think it's a normal $140 sneaker. I was able to get this one for $100 flat because price is tumbling on, no one cared about it, which makes me love it more because if I can get something I like for a discount, I'm super happy about it. And with that being said, it also made me wonder, I'm doing these videos around this time of year, some good back to school sneakers, whether it be someone, you know, my size foot, an adult size foot, or even a smaller foot, this sneaker is around for people for a hundred bucks, a good quality Nike, Jordan sneaker for hundred dollars and it looks better than probably a lot of other things out there from that brand. Now getting right into it, first thing you'll see is going to be the predominantly white upper, it's going to be all leather and unlike those other airships out there, this one's not super coated. So you'll see it's a nice soft leather going across the entire upper of the sneaker. And one of the things that gets me about this shoe, and not that it's a dislike, but it's something I have to get used to and we'll talk about it more in sizing, but let me grab, uh, yeah I got one right here. All right. So, the toe box on this sneaker. If you look at the Jordan 1, which clearly came after the Airship, the toe box is going to be pretty different in the sense of length. So you see the Jordan 1 here has a pretty long toe box in comparison to the Airship. The Airship's toe box rem reminds me of the Adidas Forum. It has a, has a very short toe box, uh, and it almost feels like it is a little bit compressed sometimes. Now I'll tell you, when I put this shoe on first, it was a little snug, but wearing it just a couple hours, it broke in nicely, but I will say, again, I'm kind of jumping ahead of the game, but try it on if you can, because that short toe box does make a difference in comparison to what you're getting here in the Jordan 1. So I know it is the same, you know, sole kit and everything, but the upper is just a little, <sighs> 
I think it seemed like a little shorter. But again, try it on. That's my best advice with this one. You won't really find them in like, I guess like the Foot Lockers of the world, House of Hoops, if I'm not mistaken. I think these are like those neighborhood drops. We're gonna have to find them in like boutiques. So go to your local sneaker boutique. These are probably sitting around, probably discounted as well, in various colors from the every game pack to this tech gray to probably any of those other colors that have released. But with that being said, again, it is a nice leather. I'm very impressed by this, especially for me being able to get it for a hundred bucks. Although I know the 140 is a retail, being able to get something of quality on sale is always a good win, especially when sneakers call so much on just any release, right? Now, as we go up the shoe, the eyelets are going to be that same smooth leather. You're gonna have white leather going up the eyelets. You're gonna have flat white laces here, but you're also going to have, let me get into the box here. You're gonna have gray laces as well to go along with that if you want, I guess, more of a contrast. But with me, I really do like the white laces. I let the contrast come when it comes to the suede parts we're gonna talk about. Another piece that's nice is going to be the nylon tongue. That's pretty much the same thing as the Jordan one, of course but it's going to be kind of oxidized where it has kind of that peach or pink look to it to make it look like that vintage or older look. Now, with that being said, if they're gonna do that there, I wish the laces would have had a little bit more of a cream look to them and the midsole. Midsole is gonna be pretty much a pure white. Now, wearing these just for a few hours, I can see that it will pretty much change quickly into that, that cream, that dirtier look, that worn look, but wrap the box that pure white and this just don't match to me. I think you would have made that match with the, the midsole or made the midsole match with the tongue, I should say. I think it would have been a better look, honestly. But that's pretty minimal complaints. I'm just being nitpicky at this point, right? You get to the top, you're gonna have your tongue tag, just like you would see on a Jordan 1. It's gonna have the Nike Air done up in the gray as well. And as we get into the inside of the shoe, we'll take the paper out, you're gonna have kind of that, that satin finish. You're gonna have a smooth mesh, again, almost satin finish that's gonna be done up in the gray. Gonna have that old school labeling of the size done up is printed inside the uh, the medial side of the sneakers. Gonna have my size 10 there. And one of the best parts about this shoe is going to be the insole. It is not one of those cheap insoles. Was it a is it a polyurethane insole? You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I cannot remember. But you see how thick that is. And again, retail is 140. I'm paying 180 for Jordan ones. I'm getting a cruddy insole. I'm not, or basically a crap shoot, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna get. But with the airship, I'm getting a way nicer insole. But also correct me if there are any other airships out there with the lesser insole. Because again, it could just be a crap shoot. You just don't know what you're gonna get. But these are super comfortable right off the box. So I'm really excited about that. They're gonna last for a long time. I'm pretty impressed. That was one of the things I wasn't even aware of until I actually pulled it out the box and was kind of breaking it down for you guys. But that, that, that sock liner, that insole, fantastic. Now, of course, we're gonna talk about the tech gray pieces in this fantastic hairy suede. It's gonna be around the ankle collar here. And it's gonna be, again, hairy, hairy tech gray here that's gonna get you into your Nike Air. And I think that, let me see here. That is gonna be called Gunsmoke. So the darker gray, I'm sorry, guys, I didn't point it out before. So like our sock liner, our Nike Air, and then of course the Nike Air back here is going to be that dark smoke gray. Getting down to the swoosh is gonna be that tech gray again. That's gonna be also a hairy suede. And this is one of those shoes that does a little bit, but says a lot because you don't have to do a lot here. Very basic shoe, but that little bit of just hint of oxidation here in the tongue, that real nice material you put in here in the ankle collar on the swoosh says a lot. You don't have to do too much, but you just know you have a quality sneaker here and I'm really impressed by it. And again, you guys know I'm pretty rigid when it comes to what Jordan brand gives us because if we spend so much money on it, I just want the best for my dollar. So I can be really nitpicky. But overall guys, this is a great, great shoe. I think probably the most underrated Jordan sneaker out there that you're getting for basically a huge discount. Of course, you're gonna have your heel cup still done up in that smooth white leather. Getting down to that midsole, that sole kit, because it is the Jordan PE, is gonna have the same sole kit, like I said, of the Jordan 1. So there we go. I will put a picture up here of a actual airship so you guys can see the difference. Now this is gonna be an old airship, so the retro is gonna probably be a little different, and of course the sole is gonna be different, but you guys get the idea. It had a very different sole, but they made this one for Jordan, so it have a lower profile, so it'd be closer to the ground like he'd like to play. Get into the outsole, you're gonna have that tech gray outsole. Again, that same grip you're gonna get in the Jordan 1, Nike branding here. And what's really cool about this shoe is that they took little extra steps to make it better because it is, I guess, a SP or special edition or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna have the Jordan 1 style box where it's done up in all black with the glossy black lettering here. But one of my favorite parts about this sneaker, and it comes with all the airships, is the little booklet. It's always fun to just have the little tech breakdown, even though it's not a lot of tech. It shows you the polyurethane midsole, show you the encapsulated air unit, everything about the shoe, gives you some uh, literature about it. So that way, if you want to know more about what you're purchasing, 
easy to break down here without you having to go scour the internet. So I think that's pretty cool. But this sneaker was one of my surprise pickups of the year because I just really wasn't expected to be that good. Just visually, I really enjoyed it, but now I actually have it on foot. It's something I can wear a lot. And for my you know value-driven friends out there, we all like the neutral gray or natural gray Jordan 185. Don't want to pay that dollar amount for a white and gray shoe this is a viable option to just eliminate having to go find that one this has the same color scheme yes it looks a little different because it's not a jordan one but honestly it's the same thing right i mean you guys i probably get some people jumping on my back for this one but it's the same thing you're getting it for a way better price literally 100 bucks now i'm going to leave a link down i got this from go i'll leave a link down below because the average price is 100 i've seen from 91 up to like 110 but again still lower than uh still lower than the retail price so you guys check it out really a big fan of this one again i went true to size but try them on if you can because of that shorter toe box like i mentioned in the beginning it does fit a little different than a jordan one but it does break in nicely i this one's gonna wear really nice i think when it gets dirtier when it gets worn it's gonna have a fantastic look to it but for someone who didn't care about the airship I'm really glad I got this one in the collection. It seems like it'd be a very easy daily wear if I wanted to do so. And it, again, just a clean look. Something different, but also still something kind of familiar when you're looking at the Jordan one. So you guys let me know what you think about this one. Again, this is a great back to school shoe for you guys out there shopping for yourself for school, shopping for your kids or whoever it may be because you're getting a value. You're getting a Jordan. You're getting something that resembles a Jordan one. You're getting something with some history behind it. Something with great materials. You're not breaking the bank. So let me know what you guys think below. You like them, you don't like them, you got a pair, you got multiple pairs. If you guys can give me that Nigel Sylvester friends and family, let me know that too down below. But until next time, guys, see ya.